Hey guys, it's Gigi and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do like a little get ready with me vlog style type of video and just take you guys with me throughout my day or we could just do something fun together. I just put on concealer and I'm looking pale as hell so let's put some bronzer today. I'm gonna try this new e.l.f. Uh, blush and highlighter duo that I found at the dollar store. This one was in the shade Spiced Apple. Okay. Uh, I already have this, this, this exact palette, uh, the Bite Size Duo in the shade Lychee. And I love that shade a lot. That's really pretty actually. For a dollar fifty, guys, spiced apple is so pretty. It actually might be nicer than lychee. I think this shade just suits my skin tone a little better. Wow, I love it. Let's try the highlighter. I hope this highlighter is my shade. I noticed that a lot of highlighters aren't my shade. I just like to go in with my finger and gently tap. I'm not gonna do too much because I feel like I've been doing way too much highlighter lately. <gasps> That's really pretty, guys. So pretty. Guys, e.l.f. never misses. Run to your dollar store. Fit Me Press Powder on the under eyes. Look at how seamless. And then I just clean up this as well and definitely here and to get that airbrushed look I'm gonna take some Laura Mercier loose setting powder and put it on top of my uh, Maybelline fit me pressed powder and this will help your makeup last and just give you a, such an airbrushed look um, I put some here too. Just Today I'm gonna be baking. I'm gonna be baking some chocolate chip cookies. I literally realized the other day I've never had a hot cookie. Like I've never had it straight out of the oven. Every cookie I ever had has been cold. So I was gonna make them homemade from scratch, but I don't really have that many ingredients. So I just picked this up from the dollar store. Who would have thought you get this from the dollar store? And all you need is some butter and some eggs. Okay, I can do that. So let's get into it. Okay, I have my strawberries to hold my hair out of my face. I have this apron that my sister got me for Mother's Day. I'm gonna quickly put this on. It's so cute and it Velcros. That's so much more efficient, guys. How do we feel about the apron? I love pandas. They're my favorite animals. And so we have the cookie mix. We have nonstick parchment paper. Betty Crockers, you already know. We have the eggs that we're gonna need, and we have the butt tour. Oh yeah, and this ghetto ass baking thing. Let's get into it. Okay, so the recipe calls for um, a half cup of butter, okay, which is 120 ml, okay, and one egg. It says heat the oven to 300 and 75 Fahrenheit. Okay. I put on bake, it's at 350, 375. Okay, it's preheating. Now it says stir, oh wait. So first I heated the oven and it says stir cookie mix, soften butter and eggs in a medium bowl until dough forms. Um, drop dough by 22 to 24 rounded um, tablespoons, two inches, two inches, five centimeters apart onto an ungreased cookie sheet. Guys, I did not finish high school, so the math is not mathing, but we're going to figure this out. We're going to just follow our hearts as an Arab woman should. Okay, so I'm going to get a half a cup of butter and I'm going to put it into this glass bowl. 
I don't know. It says let the butter soften. It just came out of the fridge, so I think I'm going to have to let it soften. But right now, I'm just going to try and measure it out and scoop it into here. Ugh. This butter is not soft at all. Okay. We're getting there. I only might need this big piece of butter. Okay, I got the half a cup of butter in there. That's a lot of butter, guys. I'm just gonna try and drop it in here so that it can soften in the... So it can soften inside of the thing. Here. I kind of want it to come out like perfectly shaped like a flan. You know the flan? I've always wanted to try flan cake, guys. I recently had a creme brulee for the first time and it was so good. Okay, <laughs> that's a lot of butter. So now that I got the butter in there, I'm gonna let it soften and I'll be back, uh, I think to mix it with the eggs. It said don't let it be fully melted, just let the butter soften. I don't know if it's soft. Is this soft? Maybe it is soft enough, honestly. This is pretty soft. Okay, I think I might actually start Got butter on my fingers, guys. Got butter fingers. Oh my god, does anyone remember those chocolates? Butter fingers? Oh my gosh, I miss those. I miss trick or treating when I was a kid. So, fix the setup a bit. I think the butter is completely soft. I kind of just tried to. I don't know if this is soft enough. Do you guys think it is? I wish there was a baker here to tell me. Okay, what does it say one more time? Stir the cookie. Wait. Stir cookie mix, soften butter and eggs in a medium bowl until dough forms. Okay. Guys, I'm so slow. The oven... Oh my gosh! The oven's already preheated. And I haven't even added anything in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is cookie dough. I think I'm gonna, or the cookie powder, I think I'm gonna just add an egg in first. So. Ooh. Yay! I'm gonna just try and whip it in there with the butter. I'll be back, this is gonna take a lot of work. Okay, this is my eggs and butter mixture. I think it's pretty soft. I think it's soft enough, so I'm just gonna add the chocolate cookie mix in there. Oh my god, it looks so good, guys. Okay, so I'm kneading this, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh, guys, this actually is a workout. This is what it looks like. And oh my god, it has so much chocolate chips. I wish I did this when I was a kid. This is so much fun. I can't wait till my son is at the age where he can do this type of stuff with me. Okay, I think it's ready, guys. The oven's been preheated for so long. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I can literally feel the heat. So let's get the baking pan sheet situation ready. I wonder if I can eat this. Do not eat raw cookie dough. It literally says don't eat it. That's so good. Okay, so I washed my hands. And I have this parchment paper that I also got from the dollar store. Everything I got from the dollar store, this is a dollar twenty-five. perfect size. It fits perfectly. Now all I have to do is get the sizes right for like the cookies. Let me move my laptop away for a second. So this is the part where I think we just have fun with it. It doesn't really tell me the exact measurements. 
So I'm just gonna take a spoon and shape it. I wish I grabbed um, cookie dough cutter shapes. Oh my God, I could've made them into shape. I don't know, is this too big for a cookie? They said like rounded two inches apart. Guys, the oven has been on for so long. I feel like this is good. I'll do different shapes. I'll do different shapes. I'm okay with that. This is so much fun, guys. I literally... And cookies... I feel like cookies aren't even that hard to make from scratch. I want to actually make them from scratch. I want to start getting baking ingredients like vanilla, baking soda. I don't have baking soda or baking powder. I don't have any baking powder right now. Okay, so I did it. I hope that there is not too many and that they become just like one big cookie. So I tried my best. Let me slide that back. Uh, and now it says bake for 12 to 14 minutes until the edges are golden brown. Cool for two minutes before removing from the cookie sheet. And it makes 22 to 24 cookies. Wait, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, wait, I made 15 cookies. But it's okay. I feel like the bigger I make them, the more, like, raw they'll be on the inside and the more ooey-gooey. So I'm happy that, that there's some that are, like, medium size and there's some that are large. I'm just making them more perfect balls. And then I'm going to put a timer on for 15, I mean, for 14 minutes. And yeah, we're going to read some Reddit secret confessions. Secret confessions or no, secrets that would ruin their lives from Redditors. That will we wait for the cookies to be done? Literally, I've had an incident before where I burned myself at the stove. So let me be extra careful. Oh my god, I'm so pretty, guys. Uh oh. What do we have? Accidents happening. Okay, hold on. Maybe super gentle about this. Yay, first time making cookies. I'm so excited to have hot cookies. I've never had like hot cookies straight out of the oven. I always have them cold from a store or something. Guys, I put a timer on for 14 minutes and I'm so excited for these to be done. But while we wait, I'm gonna be reading some secrets of Redditors that would ruin their lives. I have my handy dandy laptop right here and let's get into it. One user said, I once helped out my female friend's family by taking care of their cat for a week. Every day for a week, I would go over there and snoop around their house. I found my friend's diary and proceeded to read the whole entire thing. I used this information to get her to like me and she is currently my wife. I don't know if I'm mad at you or if I'm proud of you. Like, I feel like he kind of understood the assignment. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, I accidentally killed seven people. I put a rag into a new water heater exhaust to keep debris out and installed it in a rental. Got called a week later that there's been an accident. I show up and there's a ton of EMS and police. They asked me where the gas where the gas shut off is and I go down to shut the gas off and see the end of the rag I forgot sticking out at the top of the heater. I ripped the rag out and shut the gas off and headed upstairs only to be told that all the tenants were dead. Oh my god guys. He then proceeds to say I drink all day now and sleep is killing me from the inside every single day but if I say anything, my family is ruined. We have a bunch of rental properties and we'd be shut down. <sighs> okay guys, so I checked on it and I think it became kind of one big cookie, but they are ooey and gooey. And oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. They are ooey and gooey and raw. Just like I promised. This is what they look like. Down on there. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, now I have to let them cool for two minutes, so... This is gonna be the longest two minutes ever. 
But see, they're like, oh, they're perfect, guys. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't mean to let them cool. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so it's been two minutes. I've let them cool. Longest two minutes of my life. I love the center of it. It's my favorite part. Like, look at this one. Oh my god. Mm. Are you serious? Like, that is delicious. Mm. What, I feel like I have to, like, call over Zara or something. Like, who's gonna finish these cookies? Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more content on my channel. And let me know what you guys want to see next.